So in the meantime, before this movie comes out, what else do we have to enjoy? Oh yeah, that movie. You might want to hold on to something. It's the most fun action movie of the year. I'm impressed. Thank you. Thor, The Dark World. Rated PG-13. Now playing in theaters and IMAX 3D. Thor, The Dark World. So Thor The Dark World was basically about um, just leaving out from the Avengers and the first Thor. That the plot is a bunch of Dark Elves are back and they're seeking to destroy humanity by just flooding the world in darkness using a substance called the Aether. Now Thor must uh, team up with some of his old cast from the first movie in order to stop these elves. So, Thor The Dark World, was it a good movie? Well, um, to be honest, it was an awesome movie. I mean, there was a lot of special effects, um, a lot more, I bet, than the first one. I haven't seen the first one, I'm just the, probably the only person who hasn't seen the first one. But I've seen uh, bits and clips from it, so I basically know what happened. And in Thor 2, Loki is imprisoned, and you would wonder why this is important since we already knew this from back in the Avengers. But Loki plays a huge part in this movie, despite um, like what the trailer showed. It, he actually plays like a much bigger than role than you think he does, much bigger role. And um, the surprise I got from Thor: The Dark World is the movie has a lot more humor than you would think it would have. Sometimes the humor goes a little overboard. I was like, they should like probably have toned down the humor because something really bad happens in this movie, like probably really bad. And then the, right afterwards they make a joke about it. So that was a little overboard. Also, the humor also sometimes makes you not take the bad guys seriously. The main bad guy in this movie is Malekith. And if you've read the Thor comics or seen Marvel, cartoons and um, I just found this out recently um, Malekith is a traditional Thor bad guy and he's been teaming up with Loki before but anyway um, the humor made you not take him seriously sometimes and I think he's a ripoff of Two-Face so anyway um, the other thing is this movie has a lot of throwbacks to um, the original Thor film Yes, even though I did not see the Thor film, I have seen clips so I know when there's a throwback. Other than that, um, the special effects were top notch and um, there was um, a cameo appearance from a certain guy that always does a cameo appearance in all Marvel films. And a surprise one. I'm not going to spoil it, but when you see it, I'll bet you'll be busting some caps. So, it was an amazing movie. Um, it actually went beyond expectations, it also um, surprised me in other ways, including like the overwhelming amount of humor. And yeah, so I'll get Thor The Dark World um, 4 out of 5, and the end fight was amazing. Um, it was like Portal, the video game. It actually looked like it. Um, I think they borrowed it from that video game, to be honest. So it was pretty cool, and I saw Idris Elba on this movie, and I still remember him from Pacific Rim. So it's pretty cool. Even though when he was on screen, all I saw was that one dude from Pacific Rim just say, We're canceling the apocalypse! So, Thor The Dark World, if you saw it, what did you think about it? And um, you can leave a comment below on what you thought, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out. And, as always, for all you hardcore Marvel fans, be sure to stick to the post-credits scenes in order to be pumped up for a special movie.